then the second phase uh, server authentication and key exchange the server begins the phase by sending its certificate if it is needed to be authenticated the message contains one or more chain of x.509 certificates the certificate message is required for any agreed on key exchange method except anonymous diffie hellman i note that if a, diff, a fixed diffie hellman is used this certificate message functions as the server key exchange message because it contains the a server's public diffie hellman parameter so a certificate next a server key exchange message may be sent if it is required it is not required in two instances for one the server has sent a certificate with a fixed diffie hellman parameter or rsa key exchange is going to be get used the server key exchange message is needed for the following because when it's going to be used for anonymous diffie hellman or imperial diffie hellman or rsa key exchange the key is going to be mandated then so has the hash covers not only the diffie hellman or rsa parameter but also the two nuns from the initial hello messages this ensures against replay attacks and a misrepresentation in case of a dss signature the hash is performed using the sh1 algorithm in case of rsa signature both md5 message register 5 and sh1 as a hash are calculated and the concatenation of these two halls consisting of 36 36 bytes is encrypted with the uh, server's private key next an anonymous server uh, 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 the server not using anonymous diffie hellman can request a certificate from the client so the uh, client uh, certificate has been given over there uh, this certificate type includes the public key algorithm that is nothing but rsa signature only or dsa dss signature only or rsa for fixed diffie hellman or dss for fixed diffie hellman or rsa for imperial diffie hellman dss for imperial uh, diffie hellman the second parameter in the certificate request the message is a list of the distinguished names of capabilities or capable certificate authorities the final message in this phase two and uh, one that is always required is server done message which is sent by the server or to indicate the end of the server hello and associated message after sending this message the server will wait for a client response this message has no parameters so next it is going to say a server hello done then the second stage is going to be the phase two is going to be end then the third phase is going to be get start third phase client authentication and key exchange upon receipt of the server done message the client should verify that the server provides a valid certificate and check if required that the hello message or server hello parameters are acceptable if all is satisfactory the client sends one or more messages back to the server if the server has requested a certificate the client begins uh, is this phase by sending a certificate message certificate message if no suitable certificates available then client sends no certificate alert instead <coughs> and next is a client key exchange message which must be sent in the phase the content of the message depends on the type of key exchange as follows it may be an rsa the client uh, generates a 48 byte uh, pre master secret and encrypts with the public key and uh, from the server certification or temporary rsa key uh, from a server key exchange message uh, next it may be an imperial or anonymous diffie hellman then the client uh, public uh, diffie hellman parameters are sent if it's going to be fixed diffie hellman the client's uh, public diffie hellman parameters were sent in the message certificate message so that the content of this message is null finally in this place the client may send a certificate a verify message a certificate verify message which is to provide an explicit verification of the client certificate this message is only sent following any client certificate has uh, that has uh, signing capability uh, those contains a fixed defilement element parameters or uh, this message signs a hash code based on the uh, preceding message 
which uh, consists of an md5 or sha uh, where pad1 and pad2 values may be defined when i'm going to when we are going to use a mac handshake message which may refer to handshake protocol message uh, sent or received starting at the client hello uh, but not including this message actually and master secret is calculated uh, secret those constructions uh, is explained later we will see that one uh, if the user private key is dss then it is used to encrypt the sha1 hash uh, if the user's private key is rsa it is used to encrypt the concatenation of md5 and sha1 hashes in either cases the purpose is to verify the client's ownership of the uh, uh, private key for the uh, client certificate even uh, if someone is uh, misusing this client certificate he or she would be unable to send this message so with this the third phase is going to begin a uh, wind it up then next it enters into the final uh, fourth phase called finish this phase completes the setting up of a, a secure connection the client sends a change cipher specification message and copies the pending uh, cipher specification into the current cipher specification uh, note that this message is not considered a part of handshake protocol uh, but is uh, sent use the sent uh, using the change cipher specific protocol uh, this uh, the client then immediately sends a finish message under the new algorithm keys and secrets the finish message uh, verifies that the key exchange and authentication process were successful uh, where the sender is a code uh, that identifies that the sender is the client and the handshake message is all of the data from the all handshake message up uh, up to uh, but not including this messages okay in this uh, in response to this two messages the server also sends a own change cipher message uh, change cipher specification message and transfers the pending into the current cipher and sends it to the finish message at this point handshake is complete and the client and server may begin to exchange their application layer data uh, such a way we are the handshake protocol is going to be get uh, processed from uh, or between the client and server in different four phases of process so hope that uh, we have come across with a secured socket layer and uh, we have come across with the cryptographic assurance three different cryptograph assurance authentication confidentiality and message or data integrity and we have come across with SSL architecture and SSL concepts uh, like uh, connection uh, and session and we come across with uh, the parameters of connection and session and later we have come across with SSL uh, record uh, protocol and its operation how the process of fragmentation comp uh, compression and creation of MAC algorithm and the encryption process symmetric encryptions and finally how we are going to create an uh, uh, header uh, records and how it is going to be appended and for the transmission that we have been come across with the operation in a detailed operation way and we have seen about the record format which consisting of a content a minor version major version and the payload and we have been entered into a payloads as change cipher a specific protocol a one byte protocol an alert protocol a two byte protocol and a handshake protocol and we have detailed detailed uh, description have been uh, discussed uh, for the handshake protocol between a, a client and the server hope that uh, this video may be useful for you people to understand about the secure socket layer under the transport uh, layer security uh, if you people have any queries, kindly you can uh, post the queries to me. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.